Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mike here. Got another video for you guys. Doing um, crony testing on the SPA P12. So, um, I got some pellets in for it. A couple pellets. So, I'm going to um, pretty much just do some testing on it. Same thing like the crawl a little bit. Um, I'm going to do some shots with these pile drivers uh, I don't know if you can see yep those they're 20.99 grain 10.6 grain ultra uh, crossman magnum uh, 7.8 gamma now I have more 177 pellets but I just wanted to see um, what they what those main ones grouped um, I mean I have a lot these just older stuff, but I'm just gonna try those three, and um, yeah, got a lot of notes in there, and we'll see what we'll get from these tests. Um, you guys will see this. I don't know if you can see pretty good. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So let me do a new group. I'm gonna do. Oh, and the pressure. Uh, let's see if we can try this again. It looks a little better on here. Uh. Yeah, so that's where we're at. We're pretty much full. So we're gonna do some shots now with, I just got these pile drivers. So I'm kinda wanna see what it does. Okay, let me just make a new group here so I can just remember for future. Okay. Show that, show more. Okay, green. 20.99, might as well say 21 grain, but hey, that's how it is, start, all right, and you guys will see that there, now I've seen some videos about these pile drivers and how they come with lead, I guess some of them are deformed and stuff like that, I looked through a couple of these, not all of them, I did see like one piece of lead, but all in all, they look, they don't look bad, so, um, we're gonna see how these things shoot. And uh, take safety off. All right, we're ready to go. So let's see what we got. Nine twelve. All right. Let's put another one in here. Nine twelve. That's not. That's not bad. I don't know how accurate these pellets are, so. Well, I'll try that another day. Alright, they um I was thinking I'm like for a big pellet will they have a problem going into my but no, no problems. Shot number three. Looks like it might be going down, but we'll see. It's just it's a full tank, so you know. Didn't get to that curve yet. We'll see what. All right, and this is the fifth shot. So, um, let's see what we got for, so, that's, um, for each shot, now, I don't know if you guys can see, but, um, let me just, let me bring this over here so you guys can see, but, as far as that, you can see what the foot pounds is we're getting from this gun with these pellets. Now, I don't know, like I said, how... Um, accurate they are so pellet doesn't mean anything unless it's accurate you know no matter how heavy it is so let me save this I did, I did not expect to see that from this gun but we'll uh, we'll do another one with the these are 10.6 grain and you can see that 
there. So I'm gonna do five shots with these. Let's see how these things go. I was surprised. I mean, I didn't know how I was going to do it, Heavy Fellows. I haven't tuned, like I said, or did anything to this gun. I've been, it's been even tough finding find to do some of these videos, but uh, like I said, I have another channel I got to do videos for, so working and yeah. Um, hopefully, I'll get some subscribers up soon on this side. I haven't really promoted it. It's just like I want to see how I can organically get people to come. Okay. So, this is the first shot with these. Let's see how these do. Seven. Now, I can say I've shot these. These are um, pretty accurate, but I, I'm not going to lie. I haven't found the best pellet yet for it to like give me the best shots at 25 yards, but we'll see. All right, uh, let's make sure. Right, uh, I think that one shot at ten sixty two I wasn't like right over the sensor where I needed to be. Like I said, 10.6 grains. So I'm just giving you guys the basis on what you can get with the different pellets. So yeah, that one that was 1062, because you can see um from the first one is 1087. Then it's um that 1062. I saw like I didn't get it right over the sensor, but it still read it. 1086, 1085, and 1084. So pretty consistent. Um, it's been consistent, so I'm not going to say. And then now we'll do the Gamo Tomahawks at 7.8 grains. Uh, let me go to a new group, sorry. So yeah, with those pellets, 10.6, um, I don't got to show you guys, but I'm averaging around 27 foot, foot pounds uh, as far as that. The average was 1080, and um, yeah, the spread 25, because of that one shot, but we'll save that and then we'll do another group so I'm showing foot pounds for all the people that hunt I used to shoot I like pestling and burp, but I don't really do that too much that nowadays I just like to shoot distances and targets and stuff so um, if I had to I would though um, let me see 7.8 grains and we'll do SPA Start that, we'll do this. All right. Also five shots with this. All right, here we go. All right. Probably just gonna sand it down and re-stain re it a different. I, I don't think I'm gonna paint it a color. Uh, we'll, I don't know. I just have ideas for it, and we'll see how that goes when I break it down and tune it. But I mean, I like how it's shooting now as far as velocities goes. I just don't know how the accuracy with the heavier. Okay, so that's um five shots. Let's go and see what we got. All right. So, 
we got an average 11.56, the spread was 20, highest was 11.66, lowest was 11.49 with, a, I want to say average of 23 foot pounds, you know? So those are with the gamble. So you, this gun, I mean, depending on what you're shooting out of it, I mean, depending on how accurate the pellet is, you're getting a, a different range of uh, power. Um, other than that, there's a lot of information and forums out on it and how to work on it and stuff. So, um, And where I'm at now on my uh, oh, safety, there we go. So with all the shots I took, um, you'll see where I'm at pretty much. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, didn't want to make the video too long. Um, I do like this gun. It's very, very um, powerful. Uh, it's not that loud. And um, I like the design. I like how it looks, like I said in my other video. So, um, like I said, didn't want to make this long. Now you guys got a little idea of it. Um, I really couldn't find any good crony tests on this gun. So, I mean, I saw a couple. I'm not going to lie, I saw a couple. But, uh... I did my own, so you guys know what's going on now. So right, let me save this. You guys, are... go. All right, so you guys will see um, more videos on it. Um, you'll see more videos in general. I got a lot of things coming. Sometimes it's just like, gosh, I wish I could just show people everything I got. But um, I got about seven, eight PCP rifles. So I only shown you guys two of them so far. Uh, more to come. So just uh, stay tuned. Thanks. Appreciate it.